50 bucks for skateboard wheels. Nobody's going to notice these are missing it. Oh, hey. <laughs> I was, no, I was, um, it's not the way it looks. I was, this is part of a, a physics demo. What I was showing was, uh, you know, I'm trying to uh, pretend, I'm, I'm pretending to take this wheel off with this crescent wrench, but it won't budge, dang it. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I can only apply so much force, but I can increase my torque with a bigger wrench. It's not the weight of the wrench, it's the size that matters. All right, so now I'm applying the same force with a bigger lever arm. And the lever arm is the distance from where I'm applying the force to the axis of rotation. So torque isn't just the force you apply, it's the lever arm as well. So let's see how that looks in math terms. Torque is given by the Greek letter tau, which is not only cool looking, but it's fun to say. And tau, which is torque, right there, tau. Tau is a product of the force you apply times the moment arm. So if I'm trying to if I'm trying to get this nut to move, and I'm applying, let's see, I've got a crescent wrench there. And I apply a force right there. There's my force. Whoops, that doesn't look so good. Maybe I'll probably a little shorter. There's my force in this distance to the center of the axis of rotation. That's called L, and that stands for the moment arm. Torque is force times moment arm. So it's going to have units of force times moment arm. So the units will be, let's see, in metric units, a force is given in newtons, so that'll be newtons times the moment arm, which would be meters. So newton meters are one unit. Now, in English units, uh, let's say the length is in feet and the force is in pounds. Instead of pound-feet, they generally call it foot-pounds. Also, some torque wrenches use inch-pounds. Either way, it's units of force and distance. Now, just to balance things out, you also use torque. So let's say I've got, let's see, an example. All right, example here. Uh, let's say I've got um, something like what you're going to do in your second lab. I've got a ruler and it's balanced right in the middle. That ain't the middle. Or isn't the middle. Got to say it right because I'm a professor and all. And let's say, uh, shoot, let's say this is, let's say I got a 10 foot long board. And, hmm, how about right at the very end, I've got a weight hanging there. I'll call that. I call that force one. It's a weight, and weight's a force, so I'll call that force one. And uh, at this other end, uh, maybe I'll put it right here. Instead of at the end, I've got force two. Uh, let's say it's uh, let's say it's three feet, and this one is five feet because it's half the 10 feet. So I'll say F1 is, um, uh, F1 is 100 pounds. Just making that up. Let's say L1, since it's at the very end, it's going to be 5 feet. F2, it's on the other side. 
F2 is uh, 60 pounds. And L2 is 3 feet, that second moment arm. Now, this side is going to go down unless I balance it, right? I mean, I got 100 pounds and it's further out. It's going to have a bigger torque. So I need to balance it here. So let's put something at 2 feet. We'll call it F3, and it's at a distance of two feet. So I'll list it again. I've got, I'll list it down here. F3 equals, I, I don't know what it is, but it's got a balance. It's got to be enough. I know that the moment arm is two feet. Now, this is the, this is the five-step method. I've got a picture here. First thing I want to do in the five step is I want to draw a picture. There it is. There's my sketch. Gives me some idea what's going on. Now the second part is I list my knowns and unknowns. Variable, value, and unit. If I write 100 pounds, I don't know which one it corresponds to. So I write F1. I write L1 is 5 feet. So I've got a variable, I've got the value, and I've got the units. 5 what? 5 feet. I list all of them. It's my shopping list. Now. Uh, let's figure out how to work this. Let me, uh, let me erase part of our picture. Maybe I'll draw it a little smaller now, just so we remember what it is. What I'll do is, so we remember, I'll uh, 